I got this kit for my birthday from my son. My birthday was in December. And I've never done paper quilling before. So this is going to be my first foray into that. And hopefully you'll be able to follow along. And anybody that has got some tips and tricks for me, then please leave them in the comment. I think this looks like patterns that I can use. I haven't read the instructions, but I really, really should. Oops, ripped them already. But I have to say, there's loads of stuff in this. There's this, I'm assuming. I have no idea really what they're for. And this with a little cork board. All different sorts of things. A comb, perhaps for my hair. Some bookmarks. Curling coach. Paper, pins patterns and obviously this must be for glue so let's get on with that i'm going to read the instructions and then we can see how we're getting on well the instructions that come with this are absolutely pointless most of them are displaying how to use items that don't come with the kit and the other ones just really give no information so i they can go back in the box what i'm going to do is as i normally do is learn as i go along and perhaps watch a few Skillshare videos or some YouTube videos and see if I can work out what I'm going to do. What I have learned already is that you should pull the end off before you do anything of each one because they glue up a lot easier. And then pop that in the quilling tool right to the end there. Start off your thing and then work on your finger and you can roll that strip into... Oh, that's not very flat, is it? I, I'm, I mean, I'm sure I will get the hang of this. Roll it into like that, into your circle or whatever shape you're making. And then you can pop it into something like this. Open it up. I don't think I should have took the quilling thing off and go from there. So I'm going to have a little play around and then I'll come back and we can see how I'm getting on. Well, I thought I'd start off with something really simple. So what I've done is I just cut out a silhouette of a ballerina and I'm going to glue that onto this blue card and then just make the dress out of some pretty colours and glue those on. I started with my first shape and this is pretty basic shape and that so that is going to go on there and I'm going to do quite a few more shapes of pretty colours and stick them on. Well, I've got them wound up now and I learned quite a lot from doing this I have to say from these first few one was not to wind them too tight because the first few I did wind far too tight and then when I went to uncoil them to get them into that shape they wouldn't come out so I'm winding them a lot looser now and once I got them wound all I did was pop them into this size one and they've all gone into that size one i don't know if i'm doing this right then i took it out popped a bit of glue on there and that's just the white pva glue that i used glued the end over and then squeezed the two core ends so to make like little corners on them and then i did that and i'm quite pleased with how they've come out so now i'm going to glue them onto this dress and i'm going to start off with the darker colors again using my pva glue and i'm going to try and Follow shape of this skirt like that. Just going round, popping my PVA glue on there. I'm not sure if that's right either, but then there's no instructions. And so I'm doing it the best way I can. And then sticking them down like that. And I'm going to do a row of red. I think this is red. And then build up the colours as I go around. Sticking them all down in the same way. And this, I think, is the, probably the simplest of all the shapes that you can make. And then we'll get on to some more, maybe advanced stuff. Who knows? Woohoo! Well, I finished that now. I'm really pleased with it. It didn't take long at all. And it was actually really therapeutic. And I've turned it into a birthday card. Which I think gives it a real different three-dimensional feel to it. So now what I'm going to do is something a little bit more advanced. And I'm going to try and decorate up this can. I'm going to paint it and put some of it on here. See if I can turn that into something nice. I'd like to think that this is a more advanced technique, but it isn't really much more advanced. This is actually a little bit more fiddly and complicated than I thought it was going to be. But I am thoroughly enjoying it. And what I am doing is I'm learning. And there are so many advanced techniques out there that I'm definitely going to carry on doing this. And I think it might feature in some of my other projects. So all I've done here is I've stuck three colours together, but half a strip of the black. And I'm going around and winding it all on. And then the black will take over for a few rounds. And then hopefully the yellow will come on as well. Now I'm not sure if the middle one is a blue or a purple because I didn't check first, but it looks blue to me. So in my eyes, it's blue. 
I've got that all the way around and then all I'm doing is popping it into this shape here and letting that unwrap a little bit like that. Taking this little needle tool and bringing this down, using it to unwrap a few more bits. Trying to get it to look like the end of a peacock feather, to be honest. Now, I'm going to get better at this the more practice I do. But I'm all fingers and thumbs most of the time. So that I think that doesn't help. Now I'm bringing that centre colour down here a little bit. And what I'm going to do is glue that top in now. Now I've seen on some of the tutorials how neat people do this. And how wonderful a job they're doing. And it amazes me some of the shapes and things that you can get. So once I've got more advanced at this. What I will do is I will use it and incorporate it into some of my other work and more advanced stuff so i'm polish pushing that into a corner like that with that center bit and then i'm gluing that down all the way across there if that's not how you should glue it down once you're doing this then if you let me know how to do that that would really be useful letting that dry well actually i'm drying it with a hairdryer and then popping that there to finish off drying and those are what I'm going to stick around here. Now, I painted this with my homemade chalk paint. If you want to know how to make that, I'll link the video at the end of this one. It's so easy to make. And then I went over it with some dragonfly glaze. That's finished that off nice. Now what I'm going to do is start putting these kind of feathers on it here. Once they're all nice and dry. Well, I've finished the... <laughs> What is supposed to be a peacock. I'm not sure it looks too much like a peacock. I did a little owl as well and just a normal shape. But I was getting there with it. I don't think it's as successful as my card. It's, it is more difficult than it looks. But I think it's about practice and practice and practice. Which everything is. But I really did enjoy it and I'm going to keep practicing it. So if you've got any tips for me, please leave them in the comments below. I really would be grateful for them. And I will keep having a go at it. Be sure to boot that subscribe button. And hit that like button as well. And check out the video that's coming up next on how to make your own chalk paint. Really is so easy. Take care. But most of all, enjoy your crafting. Bye.